What's going on? How are you guys today? Uh, some of you might have seen this video last week before I took it down and I was bombarded with so many shill comments. I just wanted to play it safe. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm not showing you guys a medical procedure. I'm not saying you should do this. I'm not saying this is safe. This is simply something I've been doing myself. You know, in the past, when I didn't do this, I would usually get sick for a day or two, even longer. Now, when I do this, never get sick. Not once have I gotten sick after doing this flush. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, I saw an article saying that it's dangerous to put iodine in your oral or nasal cavity, and I thought that was weird because I was doing this long before that. And you know, when the government tells you things, it's usually the opposite of the truth. Red meat is bad for you. Vegetable seed oils are good for your heart. The sun will give you skin cancer. I mean, they're lying, deceiving people, getting them to believe that what's bad for them is actually good for them and the opposite. So it's kind of hard uh, because people do trust and respect authority, even though authority wants a bunch of good little slaves. Uh, so you guys might have also seen my video over a year ago on halogens, on iodine, talking about how the government pollutes our food and water supply with bromide, fluoride, and chlorine, which are toxins to all of our cells, especially our brain, and iodine is an antagonist to those. So yeah, obviously the government doesn't want you getting iodine because it counters a lot of the stuff they're trying to poison you with. So let alone doing a flush like this, or even if they, you know, swab test you or put something in your mouth, this will clean it out. If they want you to get sick, this is the opposite of what they want you to do. Uh, some of you also commented on that video, hey Frank, that's bad, you're clearing out all of the good bacteria in your nasal and oral microbiome, and I don't think that's true at all, because your esophagus and your stomach is very close. That good bacteria is just gonna come back up before the bad foreign bacteria can go back down. So you're better off doing this than not. And you could always drink water kefir or probiotics and repopulate your oral and nasal microbiome very quickly. But if that foreign body goes deeper and you get sick or it stays there a while and you get sick, it's gonna take your body much, much longer, days to weeks to recover from that hypothetical illness. So it's pretty simple. You just need a bottle of high quality water and iodine. I have this on organ supplements and this is stained uh, which is important because be very careful with iodine guys if your bathroom's white if you have any white stuff It's going to stain the hell out of it if you get it on anything. So be very very careful now I'm just going to take um, a bit of this iodine and put it in the bottle Now iodine has a transdermal absorption rate of about 10% But if you put it in your body, it's much much higher than that. I've made this to be much safer some of you guys are probably familiar with Lugol's iodine, which is a very high dose iodine. This is about 10% of the strength of Lugol, so it's much safer to do. And, and when you put this, you'll get a mild flavor or hint of iodine, but it's going to be nothing pungent. And those articles probably do have some truth to them if you're using a very highly concentrated iodine, which you don't want to do, uh, which is why I use a very small amount. This is plenty to flush everything out. So. I like to rinse my mouth out and gargle first. <laughs> then you take a towel, put it right here, and we're just going to gently pour this up each nose. It's not that uncomfortable. Definitely don't use sparkling water, which I did once. That was, uh, that was uncomfortable. So you feel it drip down into the back of your throat and really clean out that whole area. And then your ears open up. Like I know you guys are probably familiar with like that feeling, oh, it's in there, I can't get to it. That's your nasal cavity. So when you do this, you feel that all open up. I feel like the back of my throat a little bit. It feels um, relieving. And I usually do this twice. <laughs> I'll swallow a little bit of it in the back just to make sure I, I, I get all of my throat and then we'll do the nasal cavity again. And I could also just take like regular water and do just one rinse to get the excess iodine out, but I never really done that. You know, this happens when I do the Wi-Fi EMF stuff too. It's really a secret 
they don't want the average person to know about because it's kind of countering all of the things they use to control people. You know, if they use radiation and energy to warp people's minds, and then they use halogens to also alter your mind, then by doing this stuff, you're countering the government's weapons. And yeah, that's why we see my videos not getting that many views too. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, you can get the iodine on organsupplements.com and check out all of my other businesses on frank-defano.com. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to that YouTube and unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you could please share this on any social media you have access to. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.